What's up y'all, it's your boy Ty Little John. In this video, we are recapping chapters 471 through 480. Haters get mad when I Luffy, boss up, who's he? Haters get mad when I Sanji, kicking it like Jet Li. Haters get mad when I Nami, that money come find me. Haters get mad when I Zoro, cut checks like Koro. We are more than halfway to Wano, and I know we're all excited about that, because we're gonna learn a lot more about Zoro, and probably a lot more about that legendary swordsman that we just met in the last few chapters. First things first, if you are new to the series, feel free to watch it along with me and watch these recaps and hit that subscribe button below. Do it! Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Wano underscore peace for Wano Peace memes, Wano Peace channel updates, One Piece cosplay, and One Piece fan art. Or anything One Piece related that you want the people to see, DM me and I'll shout you out. If you are already caught up, let us know what we missed. Let me know what I missed in the comments below and let's talk about a few things because I'm still learning about One Piece. I mean, you know, I'm 480 chapters in now so I do feel like I know a lot about how it kind of goes. But every time I think that, Oda sends us uh, like a, what's it called, a plot twist. So let me know what's going on in your head in the comments below. What I'm trying to do with Wano Piece is I'm trying to build a library to uh, catalog this, this epic because that's what it is. It's an epic. The same way there was the Odyssey or things like that. This is a story in our lifetime that we can actually read through. And I don't think we'll ever have another story like this uh, again in our lifetime. So I think this is a great opportunity for us to come together and learn about it together. All right, so some announcements for the channel. Please keep subscribing. Please keep telling your friends about the channel. Um, we're just trying to grow bigger and better. Another thing, I did not cut my hair. I have cornrows. There you go. But I know you're here for the One Piece story. So let's get into it. Okay, so at this point, all the Straw Hats have been defeated by Aurors except for Nami and Luffy. He thinks he has to defeat one more person because Usopp had his mask on. Or, or no, Usopp had his mask off, as Future would say. Uh, the girl that Usopp defeated, uh, Perona, she woke back up. And she was in a panic because, you know, she thought roaches were still on her. She thought she was going to be dead because of the 10-ton hammer. And Lola actually saved Nami from Absalom. She knew that Nami wasn't a man but she also loved Absalom what we find out is Lola is actually the captain of the rolling pirates and these pirates have all had their shadows taken they they're on the island still and they were hiding in the woods they end up helping the straw hats numerous times but the main thing they do is they give Luffy shadows all the shadows that they've been storing up Luffy has 10 minutes to use the power of all these shadows in order to try and defeat Ors and defeat Gekko Moria. Now, while they're over in the forest dealing with this, all of the Straw Hats get back up. Cue the music, okay? Because when Straw Hats get back up, it's like, oh snap, everybody else got defeated by Ors so easily, but not them. They said, don't underestimate, you have Luffy shadow, so don't underestimate your own pirate crew. So now they're about to take oars down. They knocked oars upside down with teamwork. You know what I mean? They were like the X-Men for a second. It was pretty dope. Frankie was acting like he was playing Fortnite. He was building stairs. He built stairs up so they could hit him in his face. You know what I mean? It was nice. It was some, 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 some serious combos going on. If there was a video game where you partnered up like some of those One Piece video games, if they partnered up like with the team attacks you see on X-Men or sometimes on Tekken, yeah, this was it, this was lit. Now, after Perona woke up, she went to steal the treasure from Thriller Bark. She stole their treasure, she stole uh, Luffy and them's treasure, and then on top of that, she was trying to leave on the Thousand Sunny. And then Nami popped up like, yo, what are you doing? First of all, you know Nami don't play. She's not going to let nobody take her money. And then, out of nowhere, a Shichibukai appeared. Bear appeared. So, also known as Bartholomew, 
uh, Kuma, right? Yeah, Bartholomew Kuma, Kuma. And he just, his thing is like, he just causes people to disappear. I don't know if he sends them somewhere far away or if he just evaporates them. Because these people, he just made Perona disappear. And she tried to attack him, but he just, like Thanos. He also can teleport himself or either move very fast. And he's huge, like as big as a house. He asked Nami if Luffy had a brother. And she kind of said, are you talking about Ace? And uh, now he's putting the pieces together. He's putting the pieces of the puzzle together the same way we are. So he's like, oh snap, Luffy is connected to Ace. I'm, I'm guessing everybody doesn't know these connections. Like they don't know that Luffy is uh, Ace's younger brother. They don't know that Dragon is Luffy and Ace's dad. I think they had the same dad. They don't know that Monkey D. Garp is Monkey D. Luffy's granddad. It's just a crazy cycle and their family is wild. You got a revolutionary, uh, the captain, the commander of the revolutionary forces. You have uh, two pirates and you have a marine soldier. That's a family with very different, you know, different opinions on how to run your life. He came, now Kuma came to Thriller Bark to let Gekko Moria know. His, he was sent by the Five Elder Stars to let Gekko Moria know that Marshal D. Teach is taking Krakadal's spot as a Shichibuka. That's wild. I mean, he just now sent his guy to go talk to the Five Elder Stars or to go talk to uh, the head Marines. They don't really get to talk to the Five Elder Stars, I don't think but to go talk to the head Marines. And already, just by doing that, he has no prior bounty, no prior bounty at all, but he just, his presence, the way he carries himself, the way he had his mans walk up into that meeting, just automatically uh, set him up for greatness. So now he is a Shichibukai. And I think it helps that he came from Whitebeard's crew. So that's cool too. Kuma offers his assistance to Gekko Moria, which would have been crazy. Two Shichibukai versus the Straw Hats, that would have been rough. That would have been very rough. Uh, they haven't had to do anything like that thus far. The world government is worried that Gekko Moria will be defeated by the Straw Hats. This enrages Gekko Moria and it makes him feel like, yo, you know what? I don't need any help. You just sit back and you watch the show and be quiet because I'm about to handle mine. We switch back to... The Straw Hats battling against Ors. Zoro has his new sword that he got from the ancient warrior from Wano, and it's a black sword. Black swords are the strongest swords. They say that the, the hardness of a black sword is unparalleled. You know what they say, black don't crack. Zoro's new attacks with this sword are so serious. I mean, he would have ripped Ors in half if Ors didn't dodge the attack. And it just ripped a hole, a nice little spiral like, like hole into a whole building. They're destroying Thriller Bark, by the way. I mean, Ors is destroying Thriller Bark. Now you got Zoro using super big giant attacks that he's learning to control. And that's destroying all the castles. I'm just trying to figure out how many more buildings there are in Thriller Bark. I mean, I know it's the biggest pirate ship of all time, but it's still just crazy. Now, Gekko Moria pops up inside of Orz's stomach. He like reveals this curtain, moves the curtain, and he's in Gekko Moria's stomach. Now that he's doing this, he causes his shadow to control Gekko Moria's, uh, or uh, he causes his shadow to control Orz's shadow. Now, Orz can stretch his body like Luffy. Uh, he can move faster. It's just very, very hard to defeat him now because he is just like Luffy. So he starts putting the whooping on the straw hats again. And as he's putting the whooping on the straw hats, Luffy comes out of nowhere and he goes to punch Luffy and Luffy catches his fist. Mind you, here's Orz's fist, here's Luffy's hand. Maybe smaller. And he catches it just like that. Like that's how small his hand is to Orz's fist. And he catches it and just starts whooping Orz with ease. He beats Orz so bad, and then at one point, he punches Gekko Moria dead in his face, knocks him out. 
like a Mike Tyson punch. The reason Luffy is so strong, he's Nightmare Luffy now. The reason he's so strong is because the rolling pirates want to get their shadows back and they feel like Luffy is their savior. So what they do is they put a hundred shadows into Luffy's body. Most people can only handle three shadows at a time. They put a hundred shadows in Luffy's body and he has 10 minutes to do right. And he just using all this energy to whoop him. After that last attack where he knocks out Gekko Moria, Luffy starts losing the power of the shadows and faints. Another small thing I want you to know is, you know, Lola is the captain of those rolling pirates. And even Lola in her regular self is always trying to marry people. She's known as Proposal Laura. Lola. Proposal Lola. And uh, she tried to marry Luffy and Luffy was like, no. And she just let it rock at that. And then they just kept doing everything else. Um, throughout this battle, they're racing against time. So they have to get all this stuff done. They have to beat Gekko Moria. They have to defeat Oars before dawn. Right? They also have the Thousand Sunny. And it's just like Mr. Morge said in one of his videos. He said that um, the Straw Hats are like, a, they resemble sunshine coming to take away the darkness from bad places. They're a ray of sunlight to rid places of darkness. Now, here's the problem. Gekko Moria is knocked out. And they need him to say to the shadows, return to your original owners. It doesn't look like that's gonna happen. And on top of that, Ors gets back up. But when Ors gets back up, the Straw Hats do a team attack and they break Ors' back, like completely shatter his spine. And that's where these chapters end. Let me catch you up on the short comics. So, the city on the moon is called Burka. There appears to be like an ancient history that they share with Skypea. Uh, they didn't have the right resources on the moon so they came down to Skypea or to the blue blue planet and they came down to get resources at this point right now Anel's there and he restarted their planet or restarted the moon with his energy and they vowed to be his loyal subjects and this is what Anel wanted in the first place he wanted somebody to rule over some people to be loyal without fault now these moon people are known as the Anel Corps or nail core, whatever you want to say. I want you guys to always remember that you're the hero of your own story. And I want us to become pirate kings together. Now go out there and be your own pirate king. Thanks for watching this. Peace.